Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. In today's video, we're looking at some Buffalo nickels that are worth money. So we'll show you some coins that sold for thousands of dollars and why these coins are selling for these prices. So if you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. Let's just hop right into this one. All right, starting off first here with the 1914 Buffalo nickel. Now, the only reason that this coin is valuable here is because of its condition. It's high grade. Grade. So this is the no mint mark. So in 1914, you'll have over 20 million made for the no mint mark, 3.9 million for the D mint mark, and 3.4 million for the S mint mark. So the S and the D, they made a lot less of, uh, which we'll look at here in a second. By the way, the mint mark is at the bottom of the coin. So again, you'll have either a no mint mark, a D mint mark under the words five cents, or an S mint mark. And this first coin here is graded at a mint state 67. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade you can possibly get. And this is at a 67. That's why this coin sold for over $8,000. And that is based on the grade population. So if there's not many of these coins graded at this grade in this condition, then that will make it extremely valuable because it puts a higher demand on the coin and which will increase the value of the coin. Now this next coin is very cool and even more expensive. And it is the 1914 Buffalo nickel graded by PCGS, the coin grading company, at a mint state 65. And what's unique about this coin, it has the four, the number four over a three. So that is really cool. So here's an example of a four over a three, a three underneath it. You can really see it here in this image where we're pointing at, uh, pointing with the arrow, the three underneath the four. You can always look for those in your coin collections on your 1914. Now this is a very high grade, so that will make it you know, very valuable as well. This coin ended up selling for over $18,000. Now here's the same coin, not the same exact coin, but the same date, and it has the four over the three. However, it is a very low graded coin, meaning that it's in not so great condition. So we go from a very high grade coin, Mint State 65, to this, coin only being graded at a VG8, very good eight. So eight uh, to 65, big difference in conditions there, but because it's the four over the three, the coin still sold for over $280. Now, had it not been the four over the three, this coin really wouldn't be, you know, uh, valuable or anything because it's not in the best condition you know it doesn't have a high grade now here is a mint error coin it is the 1914 buffalo nickel that has a straight clip it is graded by ngc at an au 55 you'll see that clip there on the right side of the buffalo nickel and this nickel sold for a little over 60 dollars so nothing too extreme but it's a 60 dollar coin after you get it graded pay to have it graded you're not making any profit there really so here's a 1914 D mint mark. As I told you guys, they only made a little over 3 million of these coins because it's the D mint mark. And this coin is graded at a very high grade, a mint state 67. That's where all the value is coming in at. Uh, this nickel ended up selling for over $23,000. So if you guys inherited coin collections and you guys got some, you know, Buffalo nickels that are in extremely good condition, they haven't been cleaned or anything, uh, you know, you'd have to look up the grade populations, see what each different date and mint mark are going for uh, right now in the market. Uh, so $23,000 for that nickel there. Now here is another D mint mark, 1914 Buffalo nickel that has a reverse lamination. So we'll see that lamination, of course, here on the reverse of the coin, on the back of the buffalo nickel, and you can really see it there coming underneath the buffalo nickel all the way up through there, all the way up through the back. Uh, so that is uh, a lamination. Now you can look for laminations on all kinds of different coins. They're all gonna look you know, fairly different, but this coin did end up selling for over $350. And again, it does have that Mint State 64 grade. Now here is a Buffalo nickel that was struck off center. This is the S Mint mark. So again, same thing for this coin. They only made a little over 3 million of these coins as well. Graded at an extra fine 45. So it's not a Mint State grade or anything, but it was struck off center. So that's going to give it a lot 
lot of value. This coin ended up selling for over 490 US dollars. Now here is a proof Buffalo nickel from 1914, graded at a proof 68. Super high grade there, rare coin. This nickel ended up selling for over $25,000 because of that high grade and it being the proof coin. Now here is a 1914S graded at a mint state 67 by NGC. This coin ended up selling for over 46,000 because of course uh, there's probably, this might be the highest grade listed. I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look that up and see you know what the highest grade is on the 1914 or someone let me know in the comments below. Someone that uh, uh, knows how to look those up. The grade population for these coins uh, at a mint state 67, let me know. $46,000 is what this coin sold for. And again, we'll see that S mint mark there on the bottom of the reverse of the Buffalo nickel. Now, speaking of the S mint mark, you also want to look for a repunched mint mark. So you can do that with a coin microscope. We're currently out of stock. I know I've been saying I'm gonna get them back in stock. So just working on that, bear with me. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> upset sending me some harsh emails about that. So I apologize, guys. We're gonna have them back in stock. Uh, as soon as possible. So look for that repunch mint mark. Now here's a 1914 no mint mark where it was struck on a split planchet. Uh, so check this out. You'll see here on the reverse of the coin that we do not have the reverse design as a result of the mint error. And this coin ended up selling for around $70. Now, had it been in much better condition, of course, it would have sold for more money with that higher grade. So here are some other Buffalo nickels that are worth money. Now, here is a very cool coin, something that you can look for on your Buffalo nickels. This coin has a repunched mint mark, so a D over a D. Here's an example of what that repunch mint mark looks like. If you guys want to inspect your coins and see errors like this up closely, you can do so by getting a USB coin microscope on couchcollectibles.com. Uh, feel free to check that out after this video. So repunch mint mark, that's what you want to look for there on the 1915D. This coin sold for over $2,000 and it is graded by Annex at a mint state 62. So a pretty good grade there with that repunch mint mark. Now we also want to look for doubling on these coins as well, a double die obverse. So you want to look for that doubling there on the Indian's eyelids, uh, the nose, the upper lip. So look for that doubling there on those coins with your coin microscopes. Now here is a 1915 that has a partial collar and it also has a curved clip. So we'll see that around the rim of the coin as well as the clip here taking place on the left side of the coin there on the rim. So this coin here is graded by NGC at a men's state 64 and this Buffalo nickel sold for over $180. 1915, this coin here, super valuable because it is the proof coin, a proof 68 grade on this coin as well. It has some amazing toning to it, that rainbow look to it, man. Absolutely love this coin. This Buffalo nickel sold for over $25,000 because it's that proof coin and it's got that very, very high grade, which means it's in very good condition. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.